OK, menaces. Time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? Cheek! Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees' nappies, rotten fish and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, my God. Oh, crazy. What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day. And I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, mm, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? it. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <clears throat> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Trouble in Beano Town. A trouble free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> Hold on! Wait, wait for me! Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? <sighs> Sorry. Take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> Look! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right! You, strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on. This is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out. And my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, oh, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I've used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. Oh. On our way! Hey! I was going to say that. Slipper! Yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. Hey, pie face. How's the job going? Oh, God, it's a lot of work, but I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper! Why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? That's not good enough, Slipper. 
What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh. Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But Maya Scrimp, Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly! And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. <laughs> Nash! Calling all units! Calling all units! Come in! Reports of gnomes all over Beanotown! Let's go! Let's go! Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? <laughs> Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No! Gnomes! We're being attacked! <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right. We've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab. The Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house, Mayor Scrimp. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? <laughs> Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Ah, oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! Ha-ha! Corporal Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud, men. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. But... <coughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in these? What are you doing, Colonel? We're on surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. Where to, Curly? That turning left near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Where are the gnomes? Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Oh, Dennis! Beano Town Fleet.
flea market, just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> flea market just means jumble seal, Pyface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> flea market. <laughs> nash, nash. <laughs> A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We menaced the whole market. Not quite. Yes. I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> See that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. Is watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice try, Minis. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. <laughs> oh, what's in this stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. Walter, this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jelly nator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and out pranked. <laughs> Got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. Okay, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. Okay. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? Run! Hello, Dennis. Hello, 
Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing. Oh, I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? you. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, no, it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Work team. So what are we going to do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. <laughs> Woo! I suppose 
you think this is funny? Oh, don't be mad, Walter. You little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the cress you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> Dear, well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> Bye-bye. Yes. Huh? Dennis, what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires. And they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast! Who's daddy's little darling, then? <laughs> so, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. Oh, How about I give you seeds for birth? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you'll need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favorably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... <coughs> ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. <laughs> if this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. <laughs> Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, no. I think this pie is past its best before date. If comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many stops super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot house! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. It has to, Curly. We can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyface and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Results! I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect cress looks like. Who's ever seen cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big cress looks like. When they've grown up, cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. 
fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis, the unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! Ah! There may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> Absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Crest this big and eating things, and that's because uh, this is how fully grown Crest carries on. Kids normally grow Crest for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it, or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, Miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> it must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown crest experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants, so let's talk. Oi, plants, pie! <laughs> <laughs> Shop assistants ever. Nice one, Dennis. OK, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing. It's a good job we also have national yes. power. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. 